I'm here in Glendale, California at Toyota's Technical Center, which is now called H2HQ. Yeah, it's a bit of a tongue twister to see where Toyota is on their hydrogen projects and where in the future we'll see them. What started as a passenger car project to develop the technology in the Mirai, Toyota's hydrogen efforts have grown substantially. Yes, the Mirai is still a thing you can buy in Southern California, but the biggest, both literally and figuratively, things are happening in commercial trucking. To announce and kick off our new North American hydrogen headquarters. Uh, it's really important for us. It really states publicly our commitment to support hydrogen moving well into the future, as well as just showing how much we believe in it, enabling an emissions-free society. Toyota showed off its new H2 HQ to us, showing us everything from what the inside of a hydrogen fuel cell looks like to the construction of the hydrogen tanks that help prevent everything from going all Hindenburg. One other neat thing they showed us was a Tundra equipped with technology to fill up from a hydrogen fuel station. No, it doesn't go in the truck, but rather a tank, but it helps engineers make sure the station works properly. Apparently before this truck, if you took a Mirai to a station and the station was bad, there was a good chance you would end up walking home. They even had a Class 8 Kenworth truck torn apart so we could see the giant tanks and the hydrogen components and how they stack up in the seemingly innocuous looking tractor. Actually, it starts life like this before Toyota sends it off to Kenworth to actually build the truck bits around it. You can even bring your car to the new H2 HQ and fill it up there. But all of this research and development is actually in practice right now at the port of Long Beach. The Greenport has long been a test facility for Toyota's hydrogen Class 8 offerings, but there's now a station on site making the hydrogen. In a partnership with Fuel Cell Energy, the new TriGen facility is a state-of-the-art solution for ports, depots, and other central distribution points. It's called TriGen because it makes three things. It produces electricity, it produces hydrogen that is stored on site, and it produces water. The factory brings in natural gas from a waste facility where it would have normally just been vented into the atmosphere and is run through the process to split out the three outputs. The 2.3 megawatts of electricity are used to power stuff and things, though 500 kilowatts is required to make the hydrogen. The hydrogen, up to 1,200 kilograms per day, is stored on site and is used by trucks throughout the day as work at the very large port doesn't stop. Toyota alone transports some 200,000 vehicles through the port of Long Beach each year, which is approximately 10% of the company's total volume sold in North America. Finally, the water generated, some 1,400 gallons per day, is piped over to the Toyota receiving area where it is used to wash every single car that comes off a ship. Some cars head right to the dealerships from the power plant, and the water they used was generated cleanly right on the premises. This TriGen facility doesn't come cheap at a cost of roughly $40 million in gross. However, tons of incentives exist, and the actual cost is much less. Though, as this technology advances, the price will of course come down. In the future, hydrogen will have some practical uses. We keep hearing more about how so each and every day, and it appears Toyota is well positioned to take advantage of that. But Toyota isn't the only game in town. If you want to learn more about the efforts from General Motors and Honda, watch Craig's look at the new fuel cell facility in Southeast Michigan by clicking on the link on screen right now. <laughs> 